Were you hoping for the uh, Obi-Wan standalone movie? I was. Well, we're not going to get it now. Pretty much uh, no other standalone Star Wars movies anymore because they've been all canceled. Every one of them. There were a lot of them planned. So we'll only get the trilogy films. More Ryan Johnson trilogies. And the trilogy from the... from the guys that made the Game of Thrones. Recently... Especially with The Last Jedi, Star Wars has become permeated with social justice warrior propaganda. And the whole thing behind social justice warrior propaganda is the one demonization and dehumanization of white people, the hate of men acting masculine. And, and there's so much more to it. I could go on for hours and hours about what's wrong with the social justice warrior mentality. And continue to give you example after example of the fact that it is not equal, not a fight for equality. It is hate and bigotry in disguise. It has nothing to do with equality. It has nothing to, go to do with women's rights. It has nothing to do with the rights of people of other races and ethnicities. It is hate. Thinly disguised hate and bigotry. It is not a fight for equality. It is not. Social justice warriors don't want equality. When they say diversity, they really mean, oh, give everyone rights except for white people and, and men. That's what they mean when they say diversity, when they want to promote diversity. And I, I just hate it. I hate the mentality. I hate the message that they're trying to put through. It, it is completely anthema to everything that this country stands for. And they are tearing this country apart with with this garbage, with this m hate. And the fact that they get mainstream support to spread this garbage. And the fact that it's even permeated something as iconic as Star Wars. The this stuff doesn't belong in Star Wars. Why is it in these movies? And this is part of the reason why Solo failed. It wasn't as deeply ingrained in the Solo as it was into The Last Jedi, but it was there. And it was because of the presence of this social justice warrior garbage that a lot of people didn't go to the movie. That the solo film flopped, and that's why Disney decided to cut all standalone films, oh, rather than actually fix the problem, because they don't want to fix the problem. They don't want to fix the problem. They want to perpetuate this political ideology that is completely insane, that is nothing but hate, thinly veiled. That's what they want. And unless we, you know, unless we really talk with our wallets and we refuse to go to any future Star Wars films, they're just going to keep doing it. They might even still do it, even if a lot of fans don't go to see the Ryan Johnson trilogy or the new trilogy from the Game of Thrones guys. If, if, if it's permeated with social justice warrior garbage, then we'll probably not go. A lot of people probably won't go. Because you see... The thing with the social justice warrior mentality 
is they want equality for everyone by excluding other groups by promoting this hate and intolerance for people because of their perceived notion that white people are evil that men are evil for being men that boys being boys being boys is bad and how you get true equality. And this was a good thing that I, I want to point out. How you get true equality, look at what the original Star Trek did. You have people of different ethnic groups. You had a, uh, you had a uh, African-American communications officer you had a Jap, you had someone from Japan and Russia at the helm, and this was this was a series done during the height of the Cold War. You had people of different ethnic groups, and the cast, and in in the story, no one batted an eye over the fact that oh, you had a woman on the bridge of the ship, you had a Russian be at the helm, and you had someone who was oriental also uh, at a uh, important station the way you promote equality in films is if you have a diverse cast and then you do not say anything about them being diverse you want to have a character in the film who's some homosexual boom well, have them do their thing, but don't spend any dialogue on it. Don't, except for just incidental dialogue between two characters just talking, but don't focus on it. Don't focus on the fact that you maybe have, um, have a series where you have a female captain. Don't focus on that. The way you promote diversity, true diversity, the way you promote it is you create the... You create a world inside your film or your TV series or your game. Uh, on some, a lot of games do this. Where you have different diverse groups and people. You have like women in, in positions of high command. Or you have different diverse um, racial groups and different diverse sexual orientations. And you make the characters in those worlds act like none of that's a big deal. That a female captain is not a big deal. That a gay female captain is not a big deal. That it is not something to be discussed or debated. It simply is. I mean, oh, she's gay. All right. You don't focus on it. You don't push it down people's throats. That's the way you promote diversity. Is you create a world where the people in that world don't see those things as unusual. It's an everyday normal thing that's how you promote diversity it's not giving rights and special treatment to everyone else except for another group that you think is wrong no you treat everyone equally and then you create this world you you fashion this world in your fiction where these things are just everyday things and people don't bat an eye. Just like, you know, in Star Wars, you have someone walk down the street with a bunch of aliens around them and they don't even bat an eye. They don't stare. I mean, being around a bunch of strange aliens is normal. Well, you create a world in movies, TV shows, and games. You create a world where 
having people of diverse races and women in positions of high authority and and different sexual orientations all in the world and to the perspective of the characters none of it is unusual that's the kind of world you want to promote a world where these things aren't unusual where they aren't something that stands out that it's just there that's the kind of world you want not a world where you have to take away rights from some group because you think that they're bad or because you've been BS'd into believing that they're bad because they're a certain color. I've been Mike, and thanks for watching.